Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I am in a game called Islands on Roblox. I don't know if any of you watching have ever played it, but basically it's a game where you can do these tasks and basically build your island to be what you want it to be. So today I'm going to give you a tour of my island because I've actually been playing this game for a while now and now that I have a YouTube channel I thought that I would give you a tour. So let's get started. Okay so first is my little nether portal island. I have just my nether portal on it and I kind of decorated it and I put some bamboo around and it's really cozy. And then actually over here I have bridges because I thought it would be really cool to do islands that connect with bridges. So um, over here on this bridge, you can come to my Zen garden, which just has some little yoga mats and some pretty flowers. And it's just really earthy and peaceful in this little tree. Yeah. And then over here is my little beach island. I don't really know why I have this. I just kind of thought it would be cool to display all the coral I have from the update that they did. And then over here, I don't really use this section anymore. It's kind of ugly. But over here is some totems. I have my stone totem, a clay totem, a coal totem, and an iron totem. I do not really use them anymore. But yeah there's that and then over on this island this is my orchard i thought it would be really cool to display all the different kinds of trees so i have some pine trees some maple trees birch trees and i also have all the fruit trees i have apple trees i have i think this is an orange tree this is I don't remember what tree this one is, but then I have an avocado and a lemon tree. And in the middle, I have this giant tree statue because <laughs> I thought it was really awesome. And then I have some bumblebees floating around and lots of flowers. And that's just, oh, I just love the orchard. It took so long to build. <laughs> then over here is the slightly more interesting stuff. This is like a center area. I don't quite know what this is for. I just kind of wanted to have it there to fill in some space because it was just straight up grass before. And then this is my house. Inside I have some useful tools. That's some animal stuff. And then I have some basic workbenches. And then down here is the more advanced stuff. I have the workbenches that cost robux and then i have my tier 3 workbench my animal one this is like a little firefly display case i have some different colored fireflies in there and then my bow and arrow on a weapon stand and then in this chest is a ton of arrows for it yeah i don't really come down in that area for anything except crafting but then over here is my balcony where i just have an anvil and then a stone cutter so yeah, it's a pretty basic little house, but it has everything that I need in it. And then over here is my shops. Um, a couple months ago, maybe, someone hacked into my game and stole a lot of my um, materials and such. So I had a ton of vending machines, but they stole those. So I don't really have as many as I had, but what I have for now will do. Um, this is my little general store where I sell Buffalo Girl Island keys. Um, and I also sold the green sticky gears, but I don't have a vending machine for it. And then a cute little table. And then over here is my bakery. This is not really a used building. My general store is way more used, but I just thought this one would be cute, especially for fall, a little candy apple. And then I also had like a pie in this one, but again, I don't have a vending machine for it. And then down here is just a ton of random totems. <laughs> yeah, there's just all kinds of different totems in here. I don't know what this section down here is. I don't ever come in here though. This was my old stone mine until I found the stone totems. So yeah, that's what this was. And then over here is my little farm. 
I don't have that many crops because I don't really use crops that much except for, for the cooking table. And then I have my star fruit totem. And then I have an onion totem and a carrot totem and a wheat totem. And then I just have some basic crops and then I have a huge wheat field. And then over here is my greenhouse. This is where I display the mushrooms, the horseradish, and then these other flowers from the um, wizard island. And then I just have some um, things from the fishing update, some honey presses, and then this is, um, this turns milk into cheese. I think it's called a milk press. But then over here is my barn. I'm planning on expanding it and making it a lot cooler, but for now, I just have some basic stables and a little wheat trough, and in here it says Mochi the cow, <laughs> which is what I named my cow. I named her Mochi, and this is what Mochi looks like. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not planning on putting her in the barn, it's just kind of for show. I thought it was really cool. And then over here is my little factory where I have my automatic machines. This is an automatic um, smelter, so I can come over here and put the uncooked like bread or something. I'll get dough and then make bread for the um, Buffalo Oaker Island and such. And it just automatically cooks it with unlimited coal right here. And then it'll cook and then come into this chest, so that one's cool. This is my automatic iron farm. This one I love so, 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 so much. You can put any unsmelted ores in here and then they'll go through and they will cook and end up in this chest. But I also have an iron totem, so it's always, always, but I also have an iron totem, so it's always, always spitting out iron and I get an unlimited iron farm. And lastly on my island, is an area that I like to keep hidden for a reason because and I built this area because I got hacked and then a lot of my stuff got stolen so I have this area after that that I built to keep all my good stuff like hidden and it's behind my nether portal and it's this little hole and if I can go inside it has all these little chests and they have some pretty good stuff I have some island keys and then i have some slime balls which aren't that good but that's a buffalo crystal in there and i have some gears and then pretty basic stuff actually it's not that good but it's stuff that i don't want to get stolen so yeah i just keep it down there that area is not that pretty because it's not very seen but yeah that is my island i Really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!